Welcome back to Grandpa's Time. Hey grandkids. Today I wanted to talk about maps a little bit. Down the road I'd like to get deeper into reading maps and using a compass and all, all that kind of stuff. But today I just want to talk about the maps that I still use sometimes. Most of the time people nowadays use Google Maps, MapQuest, some sort of an app online to find where they're going, to get where they're going. And it's a lot easier. That's great as long as you have cell service, but I go into places a lot of times that don't. And some of the apps I use, like Onyx Hunt, uh, Onyx Maps, they actually allow you to download maps so you can use them when you're offline which is great it's a wonderful it's a wonderful feature and I'm all about it I use it all the time uh, one of my sons I know for sure uses it all the time and I think a couple of them do batteries can die I still like to have some sort of a hard copy of a map with me so there's maps when you're on land and charts when you're at sea we'll talk about charts another time the first map I want to talk about is a map I have of the United States. It's not going to be as detailed as a state map. When you, The smaller the area you get, the more blown up it's going to be and the more smaller stuff you'll see. But this is the western United States. And on the back here it's uh, the central United States. Some maps you'll even have are just the entire United States, unlike a road atlas. A road atlas has worked the best for that kind of thing, and you can still buy those at Walmart. All maps have a legend. It shows you the different colors, the different color and what they mean. So like this bright red one. Control to access, the green one, toll, and so on. The mileage, one inch is 49 miles. So, you can measure distance, and I used to use say a piece of paper like this. And you, it's not super accurate. So you'd say 50, you'd little hash, hash mark, you know, little 50, little hash mark, and so on. You give yourself an idea, the distance from here to there is roughly this. This is a very beat up road atlas, but, so you've got the entire United States. One thing to note about the I'm going to fold this just for ease of handling. One thing to notice about the interstates is that the even numbers run west to east or east to west. You've got 10 down on the bottom, runs through Texas and Louisiana and stuff. You've got 20 and 40 and 70 and so on up to, well 90 is, is uh, here, you got 94. And those are the even numbers, and they run east to west, like I said. Now, the odd numbers, like you've got I-5, or in California they just call it the 5. You've got I-5 running from, from the, from north, excuse me. You've got I-5 running from north to south, or south to north, along the west coast. You've got I-95 running north to south along the east coast and all the numbers in between all the odd numbers 65 is here you've got 29 all of them are running 25 They've, they're all running north to south odd numbers north to south even numbers east to west west to east so besides on the big road atlases besides having the united states it's got every state's map in alphabetical order. 
And you can tell how beat up this is that I've used. Whoops, see, it's still falling apart. It, it's getting beat up, and it's still getting beat up because I still use it. Okay, so let's say you wanted to go from Olympia, Washington, and you wanted to get to, let's just say Great Falls, Montana, okay? So just real quick, Great Falls, Montana, over there. So what I would probably do, if I only had this map, is I would say, all right, there's several different ways. There's 12, and I, that's a smaller road. Maybe I'll just hit up I-5 and get on I-90, and I'll go all the way across through Spokane, through Coeur d'Alene, Missoula, Butte. And at Butte, I'm somewhere in there, I'm probably going to see a sign for Helena and Great Falls. And that's Highway 15 there. So I'll get off and go 15 north up to Great Falls. And then if I had if I had my road atlas, I'd pull out my road atlas and I'd get greater detail on the great state of Montana and I'd figure out where in Great Falls I was trying to get to. Okay, that's the end of part one. Uh, when I originally made this video, it was about 27 minutes long. I edited it down to about 16 and a half, and it's still really long talking about paper maps. I just, you never know what can happen, grandkids. You can get stuck on the side of the road with no cell service, or your cell phone dies, or it crashes, or there's some kind of catastrophic event. Who knows? I have multiple scenarios in mind where a paper map might be handy. So bear with these videos. This is the end of part one. Part two, I'm gonna talk a little more about uh, different stuff that will help you with uh, like hunting maps and stuff a little bit, but you know, cities and hunting maps and all that. Anyway, uh, thanks for thanks for sticking it out. And the next, the second video is longer. I just don't have any way of shortening it. Uh, there will be several other videos down the road, and I'll also discuss uh, nautical charts and how to read one of those. So I hope you enjoy these videos and thanks for watching. We'll see you in part two.